I literally have three bunny toys that I could pick from to make my Astara altar, like no joke. This Sabbat and I are made to get along. Hello darlings, it's Tess, and today I have the second part of my Ostara vlog for you. Now, Ostara, as I mentioned in my first video, is basically the pagan precursor to Easter, and um, it signifies the start of spring. So in my previous video, you saw a couple of the activities that I undertook for this Sabbath. I dyed some eggs really badly, like, but I also did some work in my grimoire, which is what I like to do um, every time there is a new pagan Sabbath. And doing those things was really, really fun. But another great thing to do, and I'm sure this is not surprising for a springtime celebration, is cleansing. Now, um, in Wicca, witchcraft, paganism, that can mean sort of a type of spiritual cleansing. And so that could mean doing some kind of cleansing ritual by um, burning sage or using salt, some kind of clear out of maybe your magical spaces or of your mind, trying to get rid of negativity and Ooh, that's a good idea. But another great thing to do for Astara and for spring in general, as we all know, is spring cleaning. So for this Sabbath, I decided to work a little bit on my space that I have in here in this room. And mainly the two changes that I made for this Sabbath is I tidied up a bunch and actually reorganize two major shelf areas in my room so that I could put things away slightly better and have my already very maximalist space um, work slightly better. So doing that was really great and one of it was also sort of very appropriate because I actually cleaned and organized a shelf to put all of my um, pagan witchcraft wicker tools on so that's a very appropriate thing to be doing on a pagan sabbath so that was cool and then the other astara thing i did related to my space is that i of course have an astara altar if you do have a pagan wicker witchcraft altar in your home it is very common to customize it according to the season or to the sabbath I still don't have my permanent permanent altar figured out quite yet and so what I like to do every time there is a Sabbath such as Samhain or Yule or in this case Astara, I like to create a temporary altar and the place where I choose to put it actually is right above where I keep all of my magical tools. Like there below on this shelf and then the altar goes um, on the shelf top above so that obviously makes a lot of sense. And so my Astara altar is super cute. It's pastels, it's bunnies, it's eggs, including ones that you can eat. So today I'm gonna give you a little tour of it and explain a couple of things, just like I did with my Sarwin altars. So I have a lot for you in this video. I, sometimes when I do vlogs, I prefer to go straight into the footage and kind of explain what's going on using text on the screen. And that's totally fine. I'm just an indecisive maximalist weirdo who does different things for nearly every video that she she makes but which is probably not good but anyway I decided to explain what I was doing for this particular video so that way you would understand why the frick there was so much cleaning and organizing footage into your face this time I've actually explained why it's there first and so hopefully that'll give you a little bit more clarity maybe you'll enjoy this video a little bit more because you know more about the purpose but anyway I need to shut up there is so much going on in this video it's like popcorn flying around bunnies eggs tidying organizing putting cauldrons and candles away, finding pop-up books, vacuuming, it's a lot. So let's go. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique.
darlings, we've got to the most adorable part, which is a tour of my little Ostara altar. Yay, it is so cute, isn't it? So Ostara is purple, yellow, and green and eggs and bunnies basically and so I put together a bunch of things in those colors and with correspondences. These eggs are chocolate on the outside, jelly in the middle and they are awesome so I put them in my cute little fave rabbit plate which you've seen in a previous Easter video. I then put a daisy garland around it because spring flowers such as daisies are relevant to this Sabbath. I also painted some pastel eggs and gilded a couple. This ring I actually made out of earrings and it's very springy to me. Purple yellow green candles in a jar with a ribbon. Another daisy over here that's actually a brooch. And then three stones for this Sabbath are Amazonite clear quartz and rose quartz. So there they are looking very nice. And then another herb correspondence is lavender. So I've got a jar full of that here, topped with this brooch that I made from a lavender embroidered handkerchief. And here is a little toy I've had since I was very small that is of a purple bunny with a green egg. So it's not only the two central things of Astara, but two of the main colors. And so you better believe this little guy was gonna be on my altar. He doesn't have a name yet, but he probably should. Comment one down below if you like. Alrighty, my dear ones, I hope you enjoyed this wholesome little video. I hope it was satisfying to see me organize a whole bunch of crap and that you enjoyed my cute little pastel altar, if that's your thing. I will see you in my next video. Like and subscribe to see what I get up to next. And remember to stay creative, stay joyful, stay kind, and stay safe at this very weird time of quarantine and a lot of global unrest. We will get through this together. So remember, I love you. Keep going.